What's up, Sammy? What's going on? Parker, hey man, hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. I'm hyped for this episode of F15. We got such a cool topic. We got so much momentum going into the new year. Thanks to our amazing interns. Want to give them a shout out. We got Alexa Pullman, Danny Pullman, Maddie Schloss, and Daniel Sternberg. They've been kicking ass for us. And it's exciting, man. We're reaching more people than ever. And and more and more people, we're helping them uh, elevate their mental fortitude and their mindsets and conquer the real world. So it's been a blast, man. I'm hyped. Agree with all of that. They are killing it. Uh, and what's awesome is today they released, or yesterday they released the Wrapped on Spotify. You know, I feel like I look for that every year, and it's cool when people are texting that their top five podcasts are the Elevation Nation podcast, and I'm like, it's like, whoa, that's pretty freaking cool. Um, so yeah, just very thankful in the spirit of thankfulness of Thanksgiving. Uh, for for that, but let's so get speaking into the topic. of that though, real quick, Parker, if we are in your Spotify Wrapped, anyone, because this is going to come out uh, when I think all the Spotify Wraps are are getting in people's feeds. Shoot us a DM, a screenshot if we're in your top podcast. We'd love to uh, send you some love on our Instagram. So shoot them our way. All right, back to your reg. No doubt, we, we love sending love. We love to send the love. Parker um, loves love. Who doesn't love love? Okay, so we're going to change things up for this F15, and we're going to talk about a really cool, interesting uh, topic that I think will help many young adults or maybe everyone who um, goes about their time in the real world. So just want to give a little backstory. I get a newsletter once a week. It's called The science of well-being and it's taught by a professor named dr laurie santos and she teaches a class on happiness i believe it is at yale or princeton yale yale and it's global, deemed global like box. one of the coolest classes in the country and she writes this weekly newsletter and i get it and i highly recommend that you sign up for it too because reading some of her stories and thought leadership around happiness is so awesome and it's refreshing to hear her break it down for you. Um, so she sent out this one newsletter, uh, I think it was a few weeks back, about flow state. And in the newsletter, she talks about this man by the name of Mihaly Tsitsen Mihaly. I think I got his name wrong, her name wrong. Is it a he or she? I believe it's a he. It's a he. So I, sorry if I mispronounce the name, but basically she goes into this story about how he grew up in Europe right at the beginning of World War II. And during that time, his family was being held in a prison camp when he was really young. But he was able to escape what was going on, the craziness of the world during that time with chess. And when, thankfully, he got out of the war and came to the United States, he wanted to study psychology and the ideas of how people can become happy. And she then goes into a little bit more detail about his studies and his background and whatnot. And I thought it was really interesting how she characterized this guy's study into this idea of the flow state. And if you don't know what the flow state is, it basically is when you get lost in something, whether it's writing, work, uh, running, whatever it is, something that gives you so much pleasure and serenity that your anxieties and fears in the world just go away so that you're more productive doing that thing. And essentially, you're really happy. And he says, and in the newsletter itself, it's like, it's the time of the day that you're the happiest because all of those fears and anxieties go away. So Sam, today, let's talk about flow state in our lives and how young adults can maybe pick out pieces in their lives when maybe their job's not going so well or they gotta do this certain thing that they don't want to, how to always come back to that flow state. I love this flow state concept. I think it is so important for people to learn early on because I think the quicker you can understand 
what flow states you love, the more fulfilled you'll feel doing anything, right? So let me break that down a little bit more. When we go about our everyday lives, you are not always going to be in a flow state. Some things suck, like sitting in line at the DMV or having to commute to work or getting reamed out by a boss. There are some things in life that are in- inevitable, right? And that's okay. But if you have a flow state, a way for you to not just unwind, and I want to highlight this difference because Dr. Santos talks about this in her article. A flow state is not sitting on the couch and watching Netflix. In fact, that made a lot of people in this study more miserable and depressed. A flow state is something where it's a challenge, it's complex, it pushes you with new skills, but not so hard that you can't do it. And it also is easier to get in a flow state when you can see tangible results quickly. So an example for many people is painting, right? It's hard to be a good painter, but you can see exactly what you're doing. So you get instant feedback and it's complex and it pushes you, right? So this flow state that people get into is there's instant feedback on if you're doing a good or a bad job. It's hard for most people, unless you're Picasso and you continue to work at it, right? And so it's awesome to me if young people can find these different flow states in their lives, they will be able to come back to those as grounding items or grounding activities that will bring them back to their center and their core of who they are and allow them to deal with sitting in line at the DMV with hopefully a little less anxiety. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine there is a lot of anxiety in the DMV, just saying. So not necessarily the DMV is the environment that you want to go to to be in a flow state. No, but if you can not. get into a flow state at the DMV, kudos to you. You're doing something right. And we want to bring you on this podcast and figure out what you're doing because that is impressive. Um, Sam, to your point, I think what's really interesting what you said is the idea of for example, a painting, like you're painting and that is something that's giving you the, um, the feedback on you're getting something along. What's interesting is that you're providing your own feedback in that moment. No one's sitting there saying, hey, you're doing a good job or a bad job. It's just you looking at the tangible results of what you've created and what you've done. And that's what I think is really interesting about the, the study, uh, the article, And the idea of flow state is that most of the time, it's something that you don't need that reinforcement from another person. It's Mm. something that you reinforce yourself and you're just happy as a result of that. That's an interesting point, Parker. I think that lack of reliance on external feedback or people to be in your flow state, I think is, is so crucial because you need to be able to get into this flow state on your own, right? I think everyone's happiness in life and their groundingness in in life should be not relying on anyone else but yourself, right? So being able to get into this flow state where you are with just you giving you feedback, I think is super powerful for young people. So Parker, I got the question for you, man. What flow states do you have in your life that keep you grounded and give you feedback and make you feel a little bit more fulfilled? Hmm. I feel like I go through phases in my life with like things that give me flow. Obviously, I've been running a marathon or sorry, marathon is very, uh, you know, you run it once. I'm I've not been running around. I ran a marathon, (laughs) Uh, but training to run a marathon, those training runs without a doubt gave me I was in the flow state, you know, I. No one's telling me I'm doing something right or wrong. The best part about it is when you look down your watch and you're at mile whatever and you're getting that reinforcement from just something that you're doing, no doubt in my mind, flow state from that. Um, Oftentimes, I I feel like doing these podcasts a lot of times, Sam, and and it's a little bit different in the sense that you and I are – doing this together, but the conversations that we have on Wednesday nights and we release every Tuesday morning for Elevation Nation to hear, uh, and even these short conversations, the phone is never picked up. This is what we're doing. We're having an intentional, great, cool conversation about life. And that's when I feel like I'm in a flow state because 
I'm engaged. I'm excited. It's hard to, it's not easy to run a conversation for 55 minutes every week with a person that we don't know. However, what's great about that is from what we've done with Elevation Nation, I feel like we have a really awesome idea that we just love to talk about. And that's the transition from college to real world. And no doubt in my mind, that gives me flow and even more so helps minimize my minimize my anxieties and fears about the real world, which is what the flow state's all about. Totally. And to build off of that, I think something that is crazy about flow state is you don't necessarily even have to be doing the flow activity to get the benefits. So what I mean by that is when I was living in New York City and there were loud cars driving by, I couldn't focus, I felt anxiety and stress with work and, and my life around me. I closed my eyes and I imagined this scene. I'm gonna try to paint the picture for you all, Elevation Nation. It's an empty gym at Stevenson High School in Lincolnshire, Illinois. There's myself and my dear friend. We'll give him a shout out here and tag him in this. Josiah Sannon in the gym. I plug in my phone to the surround speakers for the stadium. I bump Beyonce and I get out the, they call it the gun, but it's essentially a giant net that shoots baskets back at you and rebounds basketballs for you. I get out the net. I don't talk to Josiah. He doesn't talk to me. But we go alternate shot, one and one, shooting hoops while listening to Beyonce. And that happened once. Our senior year, Joe and I had rough days. We broke into the gym. Not kidding. We got kicked out after an hour and a half. We were not supposed to be in there. We bumped Beyonce. We didn't talk to each other. And we just shot. And that scene, that day... I played back in my head over and over and over again whenever I'm stressed because that's my flow state. That's when I feel calm, like nothing else matters. And it's really, really beneficial. So I think that's a cool thing that I wanted to highlight about a flow state is, yeah, it's awesome if you can do the activity, but let's say you're stuck in the office and you're feeling overwhelmed. Close your eyes and imagine you doing that flow state and it'll calm you down. That's true. It's like a daydreaming, no doubt. Um, some form of meditation, if you want to call it that. But let's leave it on this. Uh, we're going to change up Parker's perspective a little bit. I'm going to read a, a specific part of the newsletter that Dr. Santos wrote about how you can go about finding your flow state. So she says, not all of us are lucky enough to be in careers. And I'm going to paraphrase this a little bit. Not all of us are lucky enough to be in careers where you can find some sort of simulation of having the, the ability to find a flow state in your work. So if your life lacks flow, it's worth looking for hobbies or pastimes that stretch your skills. So pick something where, one, you can get immediate feedback on how you are doing. Quote, hey, this painting is looking really good already, end quote. Two, you can realistically overcome the worry and anxiety phase of being an unskilled novice trying a difficult activity. Perhaps you can attend a class, learn from a friend, or watch online tutorials. And third, the reward is intrinsic. That's to say you will get joy from simply, simply doing the activity, not from the thought of winning prizes or impressing people. Dr. Santos is awesome. The way she describes that's amazing. And Elevation Nation, Sam and myself are encouraging you to push yourself outside your comfort zone. Use a little bit of mental fortitude and try to do something new if you're trying to find some new flow in your life. And with that, Elevation Nation, until next week, peace.